<laughs> What'd you say? For real? Hmm? Isn't Popeyes a kind of candy? No, it's a uh, chicken place here. Where are you from? That is oh, that right. is like the the Actually, first no, question, question I had. For the, yeah, 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 no. I am recording. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's oh, why. shit. Holy shit. I had no idea. I know I literally just hit <laughs> record. It's all good. Oh man. It's like okay. we're not even five seconds into the recording, man. It's all we good. We gotta do an intro video. for cause this is Patreon, right? This is this is Patreon. Welcome to the Patreon. Patreon. We we have somehow secured an interview with with the author of the screenplay we've been reading, Zeltaris. The Zeltaris, go- yes sir. The Cauldron O8. That man. <laughs> we just we just had you know some burning questions that we had to ask and invade his burning. personal space Yo. a little bit. Wiggering <laughs> entrances. Now, what does that mean to you? <laughs> I swear I didn't come up with that word. That's all from the original fanfic. <laughs> like, if, even... if you were to suggest what country would be a quivering entrance, <laughs> uh, would they be America? I don't know. All eyes on you, I don't us. think so. I don't think it would be America. Now let's get your opinion on Knox. Never mind. Oh my God, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so Stay like, forward. I uh, I had, I had a question outside of like, the first was like, where where are you from? Oh right, yeah, I'm I'm from Canada on the west coast. Woo! Word. What is that by? Is that like Ontario, Quebec, Queensland? <laughs> Y'all wear a uh, lot of blue over there. There's no coasts around Ontario, but uh, <laughs> no, I'm in Vancouver, Vancouver. where the 2010 Olympics okay. were fun mm. yeah i know because like when we were talking about a uh, time like we were basically trying to transcribe that shit so it would work out for us yeah i'm, I'm three hours west of you guys so it's like okay is it what time is it there 7 30 8 30 right now it's 5 30 here 5 30 got you that's that's weird that's so far away <laughs> but, i'm sorry but um, time zones my friend yeah, I hate them. Um, Time traveling, guys. Really, just like my my main one was like, what what made you decide to turn the original um, fanfic? Like, cause I think I think her name's Terra Nea. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's how I usually say it. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna say it. Uh, Terra, Terra Nea. Nea. It's like she wrote the original fanfic like 2008. So like, what what made you kind of you know want to turn that into a screenplay? Uh. Well, like, in in late 2020, early 21, uh, I was, like, really getting into a slog with school and felt like, ugh, my life is, is so hard. I want to do something creative uh, for the first time in a while. Mm. And, and I think I was kind of desperate, so then in, like, early 2021, during the spring break, I think, I decided to, like, to relax a bit. I was going to go finish reading that awesome Sonic fan fiction I started several years ago, which was He Is My Master. And thankfully it was finished by then, so I read it. And then I I got the idea of, you know what? This would this would be like I wanna I feel inspired by this. I wanna do something with it. Gotcha. And that's... Because I just really wanted to do anything creative at that point, I just sort of kinda of latched onto that. Probably wasn't the best decision, but no, I mean, no, we like it's a fine decision. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's a, a great fine decision. decision. Trust. <laughs> there's, like, there's twists and turns. Like I'm, I'm like legitimately invested in the fate of these characters. And Did I you ever try awesome. anything else um, as far as creativity, maybe music or anything, or was it just like, have you done fan or screenplays before, or have you done anything like this before? You actually made. He is my master. Uh. I've I've made small screenplays before, like I, I went to a couple of film production classes years ago, and uh, and of course then also while I was writing the screenplay, I took another one at my own college over the summer, so I made the YouTube video from that class that uh, Shane definitely saw. Yeah. But um, that was as odd as like that's that was honestly like our first contact, because like I did it. 
I did it on a whim. It was like, I saw it and I was like, you know what? Let me check this out. Because like, you know, it went through all the trouble to like make it. So I'll, I'll check it out. And then I left the comment and it's just, it's been, been up from there. Nice. And I was like, what? Podcast? Where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was actually like his suggestion that we started putting them out on YouTube, honestly. Because I was yeah. just going to keep it on Patreon and then you know i found well he knew some people that wanted to see it and so i was like you know what we're like 20 episodes in i don't i don't think anybody's gonna be upset if i upload like the other 19 to youtube so they can see there you go yeah yeah Yeah, patreon can be early access or something right yeah yeah that's pretty much what it is at this point because like now um we're up to episode 14 on youtube and Sonic High School is done on YouTube. Yeah. Um, and now it's just really yeah, they just get that whole up. story. Right. Because so, I think know. episode 14 was like some months ago now for us on Patreon because we just did 24. So like, that was probably back in like May or June that we actually did that one. But, yeah, that would have yeah. been like late June, I think. Mm-hmm. Did you ever read Sonic High School yourself? Just out of um, just curiosity? Here's the thing, I'm pretty sure I saw the internet historian's reading of Sonic High School, but it only does the first three chapters. A wise man. So, <laughs> like, and I barely remembered any of it, so that was almost all new to me, and it was glorious. I'm so <laughs> oh. glad you guys read that alongside <laughs> mine. Yeah, man, because I think, um... Who fa- was was that? You managed one? to find the best and the worst fanfics of the Sonic fandom. You're right. Somehow. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Because like after um, because I joined your Discord and I think one of the first questions that was in one of the channels like, have you read the original fanfic? And I was like, I didn't know there was an original fanfic, but no, probably not. Now that I'm reading the screenplay, but like, yeah, like this this shit's good, and just like pairing that shit with Sonic High School that was just pure whim cause like I saw it um I was looking up different fanfics cause I had fell out of the fanfic community years ago like back when Tumblr was still hot so like I hadn't read a fanfic <laughs> since Probably my the why you fell out 20s of it. yeah since my early 20s that was the last time I read a fanfic and then the like you know Tumblr. we came we came across Sonic High School and I was like yeah that'll be funny it was written by a fucking we came to know it was written by a middle schooler, so that shit's hilarious. <laughs> and um, we actually hard vaginas up, and everything. Yes, right. balls yeah. hurricane, and we <laughs> and we ended up, you know, reading upside down couch sofa. Boy, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> like we ended up reading yours, and all of us are like, this is really good. And I like, yeah. I like, I honestly like the screenplay format because it's a lot clearer. Yeah, it's it's nice a little more direct with the action. Yeah, like everything, everything feels more compartmentalized, and it's really straightforward. And I, I really, I really appreciate that shit. Like, I, I did not expect to get that invested into this, but, but we are. So, yes, yeah. kudos like, to you. Know, I've, I've never taken part of like any of this, so it's just like I'm just reading. But like again, like with how everything's just being put together, I'm just like, oh well, you know. Real stakes at hand. I'm like, <laughs> motherfuckers is in danger. Like, I'm thinking Shadow gonna be able to like brute force his way out. Nah, nah, man. Like, you know, so it's like twists and turns. I'm interested to see where it goes. It's, it's really good. Uh, like, so who's your who is your favorite character in the franchise? Mine. Yes. Shadow. Taste. <laughs> that is 100 percent immaculate fucking take why because he reminds me a lot of me fair enough it's understandable like had a friend named maria at one point <laughs> <laughs> not exactly no <laughs> like not his backstory but more more his personality seems to be really close to mine like generally quiet and reserved like you, you might th- not think he's very friendly because he doesn't talk very much, but if you get to know him, then he's a good guy. Yeah, it's like he he really only talks when he has to, and when he does, it's impactful. Like yeah. when I when I first words, saw fucking 
when I first saw Shadow in SA2, like it was, it's like, oh my God, he's he's cool. He's such a cool character. And then I became a furry and that was, <laughs> that well, was, that'll that, do it. That was a fun time. Him and Rouge <laughs> in the same game. It was just, it was a fucking overload. Like this, <laughs> this like the, if I could, if I could look at myself like 20 years ago and just see see myself play at Sonic Adventure 2. It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure this won't have any long long term implications. Holy ah, shit, ooh, did it! Look at that polygon. Right, mm. that one polygon. <laughs> the singular. That's funny that that was the that was the triggering for you. Mine has always been um, the Bugs Bunny Opera. What's Opera Doc? Bugs Bunny and drag <laughs> and drag. Yeah. Mm. Every oh, time. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's <just> Every time. <laughs> Every time, Does, has it stopped? <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta ask for like my own, my own curiosity. What, what's your ethnicity? Uh, a couple people. Well, actually, no. One person has described me as white trash. So, <laughs> uh, I think, I think my family, like one half comes from uh, somewhere in Ukraine, and the other half comes from Scotland. Ah, oh, fun snow, <laughs> snowman. Right. <laughs> the 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 snowman. And the reason nice. I and the reason I ask is because like when we when we do the podcast, like I know I know we say both variations of the N word a lot. And I always Wait, get there's, there's two variations? Yeah. Yes. What are they? There's the A and the E R. Have oh, you seen okay, that okay. video of the old man trying to describe the a different, different accent? Oh no! Ah! Oh no! 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 <laughs> no! No! no. <laughs> it's two, it's two very different meanings down here. <laughs> will result in very different reactions. Right. Like the only time I think I've ever heard the accent is when I gave it to Antoine. That's or I told John how to say it. That's Antoine. <laughs> Just the Nigel. Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only accent. But. <laughs> And like the reason I ask this is I think I know that makes like a lot of um a lot of non-black people uncomfortable when they hear it. And I just I just wanted to, I wanted to get your feelings about us saying it in the fucking podcast. I'm not gonna stop regardless, but I just wanted to know I just wanted to know like yeah, don't let me stop. You. Right. Like I don't I don't I wanted to know like if it makes you uncomfortable or do you feel like it adds to the reading. Uh, honestly, neither. I just feel like that's that's part of your guys' style. Like great answer. Like like that's how you guys like like to joke with each other. It was it was pretty clear from the first time I heard it. Like like you're not actually trying to insult anybody. You're just having fun. Right. And that's that's what it is. Like that's how that's how we interact. So like it's yeah. just you know that we're, is really we're, how we talk to each other. Right, and we're all oh, yeah. black. So we so we can you know pretty much say either variation inconsequentially, but you know yeah, some people we call each other worse things. To yeah, be way worse, <laughs> infinitely way worse, worse shit. Yeah, now like we're gonna chimp out later. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mo- a bunch of monkey con noises. <laughs> monkey. Okay, when we get big, that's where our podcast like fucking con will be called. This is a monkey con. Monkey Monkey con. con. (laughs) I'm like, I don't know. Like, hell, if we don't get canceled first. (laughs) Free banana for every patron. Gather around. There's a a lot of shit in this podcast. You're right. We about to get a deal. So what's this about these monkey noises? Um, The Japanese accent. We are. Various utterances of the hard ER. We are black. we are members of the fucking theater, sir. Right. We are thespians. <laughs> we are thespians. <laughs> and we earned it. And like my my only response is we are black and two of us like boys. We can really we can literally say whatever the fuck we want to. We it's are fine. vulnerable. Right. Because I'm impervious on the internet. <laughs> oh yeah. Plus ten defense. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> everything is safe on block <laughs> right everything is plus good neutral um, I mean like does that give you the excuse to go up to Sonic's doctor and critique his eyes or something though? yeah absolutely 100% um, Oh, yeah even oh, though we're okay, not Asian right. I'm gonna do it anyway for posterity cause I'm fair you know 
I like to I like to dole out my insensitivity <laughs> in equal doses to everybody. Oh, oh yeah. I'm not racist. I hate everybody. I'm not racist. My dog's black. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I had three black people in my house last week. Come on, guys. When I turn my TV off, it's black. How can I be racist? Come on now. Smell <laughs> like, the excuse. We're all black in the dark. God damn it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> my like, I don't is black at night. Right. It's like I don't. I, you know, I, t- I sleep when I close my eyes. It's darkness. I haven't mm-hmm. blinked in thirty years. <laughs> Fucking Every time speaks. after eight p.m., everything gets dark. What the fuck is racism? Right. <laughs> Yes, but I don't want right, to hog kinky. all the questions. I'm gonna I'm let y'all ask some. I'm gonna go get me a bottle of water real quick, though. Let's get kinky. Right. Well, I want to know about creative liberties in the sex scene because that was well written. The water can wait. <laughs> I, <laughs> I need I need to hear this. The water can fucking wait because that was actually like no joke. I've read a few fanfics and read a few yaois in my day. Okay, I'm well versed. Thank you. Your sex scene there was actually primo shit. Yeah, that was solid. I haven't read the original fanfic, so I want to know any liberties, anything that you said, maybe this is too far, maybe not far enough. I want to know what is the dark side of Zeltaris's <laughs> kinky mind? Keep in mind, I was a wreck the entire scene. I, I cool show. you were. <laughs> uh, okay. So here's the thing about that sex scene. Uh, it's almost 100% just identical to the original one. The only thing is, I added that remark about Shadow's cock being bigger. (laughs) 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 I got such a kick out of your reaction to that. (laughs) Shadow's was bigger. Of course it was. It's black. I replay that every day in my mind. <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate BBC. <laughs> Just the idea of Sonic having that like half-eyed kind of blush look, and then shit. looking down, and then going, "Oh f- fuck!" Where are you gonna put that, Shadow? <laughs> Behold the ultimate cock form. <laughs> Oh my fucking oh, god. Oh god, yes. <laughs> but yeah, man, like it was I it, like John said, like even out of all the fucking smut that I've read, like I feel like it was perfectly placed as far as the pacing goes, and it was just gratuitous enough to like to you know to keep to keep people engaged. And I'm like, that's this is really well done. Is there another one? I don't want any details other than the fact of right. yes or no. Any sequels, sequels Is there the another world? sex scene? You just want a yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I get to do another one. Yes. <laughs> I fucking love it here. <laughs> ben, did you have any? You you gotta you want to ask him something? You want to yelp? I, you know, yelped, did y'all not hear that? I didn't, no. I did not. No, I think the fucking voiced me or whatever oh, the fuck okay. canceled it out. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Gotta get one every Tuesday. You got to, man. It's, it's only right. It's tradition. You have to stick to tradition. It's important. It's fast. Unless you like, you know, is destructive to people. But anyway. Sure, I'll have to download this interview and listen to my own voice just to get that Yelp in my compilation. <laughs> All right. It's okay. It's cool. I'll timestamp well, it for you. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll timestamp it for you. Okay. And um, what is your favorite Sonic game? Or if it's too like broad for you, Ultimate like, Flash like, Sonic. Get out. Get the fuck Ooh. out of this Discord <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> get out. That is. A, I did not see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here, here's the thing. I, I've. The only Sonic game that I have played repeatedly is just some Flash game on the web. That's mm. like, I, I had so little interaction with anything in the Sonic canon. Mm-hmm. Like, most of what I know about, about Sonic, like, I was in the fandom for 10 years before I decided to actually look into 
canon things. Hmm. Just because oh, I had really? all this fan fiction that that was so nice to read, and that, and that was your it. introduction, and that that act, that makes sense actually. Yes, my, my introduction to the Sonic franchise was through Sonado, and just <laughs> I just liked how they looked together, so I investigated further and read fanfic and stuff. The rabbit hole—that's how they get you. <laughs> yep, like it really is. Because like I just I. I, I really didn't know about like you know shipping and f- being a being like a furry and none of that shit. I really didn't know about that until I was like fifteen or sixteen. And dear God, by the time it came to look up like Sonic and Shadow wallpapers, it was all fucking corrupt. <laughs> like mm. there was so much fucking <laughs> porn, and I'm just like, yo, that's uh, that was that's a cool, but like I just new ground. Yeah. I was like, that's cool, but like, I just want a picture of them, like, you know, looking at each hanging other out, <laughs> right? <laughs> hanging out or like Dude, having a cool fucking, pose. yeah, having a cool guy stare down or some shit, not full blown not anal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is funny because I mean, it's like, I, mean, I knew he went can do both at the same time against the mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? I was just saying, it could be both at the same time. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, there were some of those scenes too. I was like, there's uh, there's definitely some good shit in that uh, in that Sonato server. Like that shit's solid. Mm. Just like me. All right, Snake. <laughs> okay, so I need to know. Do you like my Lazar voice? Oh yeah. Because these motherfuckers were killing me with their reactions. Dude, that was just the that crowd. Was, that wasn't yeah, us. That, crowd, that was the crowd. Yeah, I, I think, no, I that, was, that was that was creative character. liberty on y'all's part. Yeah, we were being the the background. We, we, were, we were legit being background characters. I don't. Have, yeah, I yeah. like your voice. I know. I know y'all playing along, but you're so good. <laughs> when I'm doing the voice, it's like fucking. I couldn't finish the lines I remember a few times. Oh, no. We fucked with the that's voice. How you know, that's how you know you're doing it right, John. <laughs> oh, when my they... God. It was, so, it was so funny. I was in tears and snotting <laughs> at one point. Just like I couldn't hold myself together. I'm just glad that the author or the uh, writer of the screenplay actually appreciates it yeah. as well. Like, I appreciate, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's really good. It really fits in well. Mm. It might be better than my own. You sneaky snake. What's your Lazar? Because I always wanted to do Lazar because I thought I could do a nice voice. And I do Your nice voice is sounds. quite well, but I am Emperor Doku. <laughs> we having a or Palpatine or whoever the fuck. Are we having a riff off right now? Is that what this is? <laughs> <laughs> it's a riff off. <laughs> God. You're not even good enough to be my fate. I'll make you eat those words. <laughs> <laughs> I have the bussy. Okay. I have I hate the it ginger. <laughs> I, I hate it here. It's getting sick. I can, <laughs> I, I can right. suck. I, <laughs> I can suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Yeah, Do no, not no, fuck no, with Kermit, me. Kermit's here too. So. <laughs> You know, don't go, don't go too crazy, guys. <laughs> Kermit the Frog, like, voice. Oh, yeah, really nice Kermit voice, too, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. That, that was that was a treat. Thank you. Like, I just, it was, it was so funny. I don't want to be a baboon. <laughs> it was so funny to, like, see this. F- just for what? Why, why was he there? Was that for it's the just, audience? No, it's just, it's, it's literally just, like, it makes a bit more sense in the original where, where, where they don't, say who the characters are before they have dialogue so it, it just like there's three guards okay one of them is saying don't turn us into frogs and then the other one's like hey and then he says oh no offense meant kermit and then you realize oh the joke is it's kermit it's the kermit frog. the fucking frog he's everywhere he's <laughs> like lost screenplay it, it's, it's kind of weird that shit is that was that was funny as hell man like <laughs> in, in all honesty so like if you um Cause I mean, like, we're not, I don't, I, we can't really divide it into arcs, but like, mm-hmm. so far out of the, 
don't count. I don't really want to call them episodes, but like so far out of the episodes, do you have like a favorite episode or like a favorite set of episodes that we've done? Uh. Hmm. I haven't really thought about that. Usually I just go back to particular podcast episodes that you guys have done that I found really fun. Hmm. Any yeah, I, 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 can, okay. I can say uh, definitely my favorite one to go back to has been the sex scene just because it's so funny. I knew you would say it! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was a lot that <laughs> went <It> on. <laughs> Honestly, I wish we had cameras because if you could see the facial expressions <laughs> after he had to read something was fucking amazing. Or you see the moment where like someone reads ahead a little bit. And they realize like, what's going on. <laughs> like I, yeah. I, I know I have those moments without realizing it. Like I I, I was just I was so excited. All of us were excited. I was like, oh my god, we finally made it. We finally got it. And we have another <laughs> one. Oh my god, I'm so excited that there's another one. Holy shit. I mean, it's only right. Like, we're we're, I'll be right back. We are okay. what, like okay. halfway through the story? Almost. No, I think we are like exactly halfway through. Cause isn't it like 186 or 187 chapters? Well, like, uh, like I said, the pacing is really weird. So, like, like in my mind, you guys are like more than two thirds through the story. No oh, shit. The, the the main story, at least. But there's like 60 chapters of basically epilogue so god okay so it was basically like uh hey here's what happened though with such and such and such as okay right. everybody's lives i guess a after. comprehensive in, yeah, it's uh, like, comprehensive it's like, ending basically it's like what what stuff happens and how things settle down once all the excitement happens yeah got you sweet like so that's so really fun though we're not we're not spoiling ourselves. That's I don't think so. Nah, that's fun. Like I like and it's it's always like hard to kind of find a stopping point because I we just have so much fun doing it and I'm just like <laughs> I want to do another one but like we've been doing it for like an hour and a half, 2 hours and you know, I kind of want to keep it as episodic as possible. You know, like, I right, try to yeah. leave on a cliffhanger, but if I can't leave on a cliffhanger, I'm like, you know, that's a good place. That That's where I would end it if it was a, a show. So, like, that's that's just where we end up cutting it and shit. Um, yeah, that's usually a good a good way to decide. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, like, when you, um... When you were writing the screenplay, did you... Did you want to keep it, like, a one-to-one -one translation? Or did you take any liberties at all with the uh with the original fanfic uh yeah i did i took some liberties here and there um what usually when it's a major thing that i change i'll say so in the author's notes mm -hmm. on ao3 uh like like when i mention <laughs> oh i changed such and such uh that's what i'm talking about those are liberties that i took when i made it into a screenplay word okay that makes that makes sense because i thought it was um you know i thought it was like something like an idea that you had that you then altered before you wrote like that was that was what right. i was thinking in those words like that's that makes a lot more sense it does yeah I, yeah that's what i thought from the way you talked about it at one point which oh yeah because i yeah i made mention of it a few times Cause like we like that's the other thing like I'm like usually like when we get to the end of a chapter there's a pause and it's because I'm like trying to determine should I read this author's it's note out loud yeah. yeah and I'm like well the fanfic's done now so like a lot of this is just you know past progress updates so yeah, <laughs> it's, or they're like it'll be a while to, until the next chapter right and I'm like it doesn't matter now because it's done um. <laughs> Do you have anything else in the works or like are you going to do your own screenplay in the future? Is that a thing? I don't, I don't have any plans to do that kind of thing, no. Really? Why not? Um It's just a really big undertaking, I guess. 
And I feel like to to make my own screenplay, it would be a lot harder to get any kind of attention for it. And uh, like that's one of the reasons I thought, oh, I should take this popular fan fiction and make a screenplay out of that. Then there'll be people out there who actually want to see it become a movie because it already has a following. Oh hell yeah, absolutely. Like that's that's a real good way to get into it, man. I just want I want I want yours or y'all's I guess because like it's your screenplay but her story I want y'all's to be like some type of act like some type of project and then I want somebody to do Sonic High School I just I just I need that before <laughs> I die before I leave this world I need those two things to be like it could be SFM it could be animated I don't give a shit I just need it done you need to see Sonic High School yeah I need to see Sonic High School and I need I'm to see he is my master. Intense as hell. Yeah, Sonic High School. That you can't put that on YouTube. That's got to be like a Patreon <laughs> thing. Like whoever does oh, it, that's got to be Patreon exclusive. No way. No shot. Second chapter. I hope, I hope whoever it is actually actually tries to like make the things look like the way that the author describes them in that story. Right. Like the uh, the upside down couch sofa. The balls that look like spoiled meat. Yeah, the, that's... Like, all that crazy stuff. God. <laughs> like, it's just... I, I want... I want the, uh... What the fuck? The, um... Allegories. I want those to be, like, family guy cutaways. Like, I... <laughs> like, because I just want to... I want to see the character read the line and then somebody literally do what the allegory says... Because maybe maybe it's a visual thing. Maybe it makes sense if I look at it. But reading it? Fuck no. Absolutely not. Hey, by the way, I, I hope you guys are, are still thinking about uh, doing that last story by Dark Doom Firemaster someday. Which one? The, uh, the movie? The 2019 one, yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, Wait, there's a, there's a Sonic High School the movie. Yeah, well, no, he wrote he wrote the um he wrote it. It's called Sonic the movie before like Sonic actually got a movie, but it takes place after Sonic High School. That's a that's about yeah, right. as far like into it as I read to and... it. Holy shit! Like, yeah, it's well. it's basically like from from the synopsis, it's them after high school and Sonic yeah. becomes a movie star. Okay, cool. It's pretty fun. I think you guys would like it. Maybe, yeah, Why? maybe because like not? I added, I added a couple that I still got to check out that were in the Discord that other people had uh, dropped. So like, maybe when we finish this one, we'll go back and do that one and another one. Oh yeah, and and uh, I think you might have put this on your list, but I just want to mention to you guys right now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Terra Nea writes other fanfics too, and and they're generally really good. Mm. Like, she, like you saw how good of a story she can make with He Is My Master. But like, there's one story called Shadow the Hedgehog First Class, which is basically the premise of Sonic High School, but written with the quality of He Is My Master. And like. I don't know if you guys would want to actually read it on your podcast, but I think at least you should just check it out on your own. Hell yeah. Because I bet you would love it. Turn it into a screenplay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I believe I in you. I did it once. <laughs> it's, it's a one and done thing. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. So, like, do you, um, did you have any questions for us? Uh, only a couple. Shoot. Um, okay. Oh, I got four questions. Okay. Okay. First one is Dent. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you better get ready. Uh, actually, I, I just wanted to know, like, every once in a while, usually when someone else is talking, you'll just kind of interject a word here and there. And, and usually it sounds something like J. And I was just wondering, what's that about? And what are you saying, if anything? Oh, oh, J. Oh, yeah. Kind of like, uh, it's 
it's me ad living like uh, literally like rap songs back in 2006 <laughs> yeah like basically like jeezy and like those type of guys that make the like yeah or like yeah like oh, oh. just a quick thing i've gotten so used to saying it <laughs> i don't even realize i do it sometimes <laughs> yeah it gets funny a couple times <laughs> so. a pro tip if you ever yeah. find yourself in america never get an apartment with an i or an l because they fuck up the order jesus christ yeah Oh. Okay. I'm I've lost so much that. money. So much money. <laughs> they took it to the L apartment. So much money. I it's okay. I was going to say, you know what? I'm going to eat a little extra tonight. I've been a good boy. Jesus said no. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Well, either way, how's the conversation been? It's been fun it's been for me, great. at least. Yes, all right. cool. Spectacular. I'm not in a bad mood now at all. But he was, uh, oh, he hey. was asking us questions. Yeah, okay. John, John, it's yes. good you're back because the next question is for you. Okay. Uh, Two at one time. Well,. Okay. I don't know about that, but anyway, <laughs> uh, at, uh, way back, like in the first scene where Sonic meets Knuckles and Knuckles is in chains and stuff, when uh, when Sonic is about to is like letting Knuckles out, right? He he gives Knuckles a hammer so that Knuckles can break free, and you made some kind of big deal about that, and I just didn't get it. You were like. Sonic gives Knuckles a hammer. Just let that sink in for a moment, everybody. <laughs> and I was thinking, why? What? What's the deal? Well, Taurus, I'm you gonna be honest with you. I am a drinker. <laughs> I say a lot of shit in my daily life that I cannot recall. <laughs> if you put me on the stand, I will look the judge in the eye and say, I don't know. If anything, knowing how horny I usually am, it was probably a penis reference. But if there is anything else, uh, I'm just gonna be up, fr up front with you. I don't even remember what I had for dinner last night. So shit. <laughs> I'm gonna. Maybe I'm, it, maybe it was broccoli. I'm gonna make. <laughs> I'm gonna make the assumption that it was just like Knuckles' raw strength should be able to like break any chains. Okay, we'll go with that, yeah, Your Honor. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, Gu yeah, guilty. Yeah. ten years. I'm fucked up right now, sir. I won't remember this conversation in a couple of hours. So, <laughs> good if you have anything to up. say, you want to get off your chest, you're safe with me. Can you see chest? You see my chest? Do you see my chest? My oh. money. <laughs> we know what is, that it's What's question number three, my let mans? It burn, let it burn. <laughs> Shut up! Followed a sign saying beautiful chest led to a lady who showed me her best. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I, I just wanted to know from you guys because the recording got uh, fucked up. What, what did you guys think was going to happen with the gallo scene? Like once, once Sonic and Shadow were just kind of dangling, and then they were supposedly dead. Like, did you did you guys just think that they were gonna actually turn out to not be dead, or did you think they were gonna have to be brought back to life later? I did. Yeah, I I, I thought there was gonna be some like astral kind of thing where like the souls of Shadow, Sub Sonic, and Sh and Sonic and Prince Shadow and the real Shadow were gonna go through some sort of conflict in like an astral realm, like the Avatar going to the Avatar state and seeing his past lives, and then they were gonna fuck around to do something. But oh, Silver's sorry. cool too. Silver, that was a good like you yeah. know Silver coming in and like levitating them. I thought that was a really good uh, idea. Subversive. Silver getting involved, you know. And seeing that this was 2008, and I was still coming off of like the Silver era when he was still 
feature heavily in like media and stuff for Sonic. Well, I don't know. That chapter is probably more like 2010 or 2011. I, I can't sure. remember what year Sonic Rivals came out, but Sonic Rivals 2007. Yeah, the first one was 2007. Oh shit! Was there a sequel? Or yeah, no, yeah. No, Sonic Rivals two. When? I think that was 08, 09. Okay, nah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that one might. year later. Yeah, it was, it was 08. Well, he he he'd still be in like uh, promotional materials, or at least in the Mario Sonics. Yeah. So, yeah, Sonic Generations or something. He was nice. I don't know if you read the comics or not, but like it was literally he had a major part in this last arc before uh, Imposter Syndrome. There it uh, is. You talking about IDW comics? Yeah, the Metal Virus. Oh, okay, I, I I read those up until the end of the Metal Virus. You know what? I just got your broccoli reference. Yes, broccoli. Well done. I just Very got well that. Done, Better John. late nice. than never. <sighs> Holy shit! You made it. I, was I, ask, I is, is, is that the, the last kind of horse finally drink? finishes the race. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh, fuck! Oh man! Broccoli. Okay. Question number four. Uh, pretty pretty simple question. I wanted to know. Did, did any of you uh, notice the hint about the, the gallows scene in the theme song that I made for the movie? There's a hint in the lyrics. I'm going to have to go back and look at the lyrics now. Yeah, I, 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 was about to say, I was about to say the same thing. I definitely there's, missed it. There's, there's a line that goes, We could die at dawn and then we'll both go back and we'll do it again. And I just kind of put Fuck. that in there to... To sow extra seeds of doubt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, because theoretically, you'd you'd hear the you'd hear the song like at the beginning of the movie at some point, mm. with the opening credits and whatnot. It's definitely a uh, definitely an anime intro esque song. Woohoo! Yeah, sure, yeah, man. But uh, you know if you. Uh, you know, if you Google "He is my master" Sonic lyrics, you get taken like lyrics to Sonic the Hedgehog IDW. What the fuck? Really? Yeah, you probably yeah. put uh, Zeltaris at the end of it. The very first fucking uh, thing is from Sonic.Fandom.com called "Kick the Rock." That's a knuckle song. I know. It's and incredible. right underneath it is to call's prayer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So Google is working overtime tonight, I can see. Yeah. Well, I mean I Google be frazzled. I don't I don't think I have any uh any other questions. All of mine were answered. Nice. Awesome. Um No, 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 you already answered the sex scene one. So any um, surprise guests coming up as far as like uh, maybe a nice little pullback from the Sonic franchise or just like somebody yes. just rare? Yes. Ooh. That's fun. Hope it's Metal Sonic. <laughs> I'm, de I'm definitely voicing that one. Robotic. Okay. It's Robotnik, not Eggman. Oh. Robotnik. Oh. Is there a Sonic cross Metal Sonic like fucking scene? What? <laughs> Are you Don't asking, worry, do they mistake. fight or do they fuck? I missed that. He said, is okay. there some sort of Sonic cross metal Sonic scene? Either fight or fuck. Just say <laughs> yes or no. <laughs> uh, you'll, you'll find out. Hey! <laughs> metal oh Sonic. God, I'm gonna have to like, that, that means like, I'm gonna have to timestamp every line that you read as Metal Sonic and apply a robot filter over it. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're, we're about quality over here. So it'll be my regular Sonic voice yeah. with the robot? Oh. Or, or like either that, or you could like read the line like a robot. <laughs> Does not matter. Just a robot Metal Sonic saying to Sonic, spread him. Like, outside of Knuckles, like that's my other favorite character. 
or favorite villain, definitely. But you know, I'm biased. Oh no! Guess oh no! Ah! Huh? Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no! I need a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Say Shadows is bigger in the robot voice. <laughs> oh, man. Shadows I'll see you guys bigger. next week. <laughs> Black Steel. You've read worse things. We read through Sonic High School. Yeah. And Trust World me. War II <laughs> Dragon. All right, all right. What is, what is the, what's the line? The line is... <laughs> Just say BBC. Sonic looked down. <laughs> Metal Sonic looked down. Shadows was bigger. <laughs> hmm. Shell's definitely bigger. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Good, good humor. Uh, I got like right up on the mic and wheezed. Like, you like cut out. Like, that was like, <laughs> yeah. wild. Yeah, that just sounded you, crazy. You broke Discord for a minute there. Hey, yeah, let's go. You actually sounded like Metal Sonic. And you said the world. <laughs> but if that's it, <laughs> uh, that that's all the questions we have. Zeltaris, thank you for okay. coming through. Woo! Have Hello. fun with invite. us. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, man. My pleasure. Speaking of big dog. Uh, you know. We will definitely be continuing. He is my master on Patreon next week. Patreon.com. Y'all know. Backslash Black Plague Podcast. And the rest of the episodes will be uploaded to YouTube. Uh, Shmuzz Joe Stein. On YouTube, yeah. there are fourteen Thank up you for now. Coming. Got two more next week. But again, thanks for coming. Thanks everybody for listening. Yeah, we'll see y'all next week. Next week, next yeah. Metal Sonic Ano. Seven Let's days. Go to the <laughs>